It's 1123. Ryan Bonner here with you. Have your say. Have your questions answered. Beautiful, gorgeous day out there. Uh, downtown Toronto, six degrees, and maybe we can make your day better by answering a question you have about your mortgage. You're looking for answers. That's why Roy Cocciolo is here from your mortgage, yourway.ca. If you go to that website, uh, there's mortgage calculators. You'll see that link at the top. And there's a, a different calculators for different scenarios, uh, refinance, interest savings, your mortgage qualifier, comparison calculator, loan calculator, rent versus buy. You have it all in there, Roy. Well, we try to keep it uh, easy and, <laughs> and, and simple for everybody to um, and, you know, now I think that if you look at the, uh, more importantly, the, you know, rent versus buy yeah. uh, calculator, a lot of people use that for sure. Um, it definitely helps you decide what's best for you. But, um, you know, now with this whole CMHC thing. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Starting March 17th, they are going to be hiking insurance premiums. So what does that mean for people out there? So basically, if you're putting anything less than 20% down, uh, CMHC, or the, as we all know, in October, uh, the Bank of Canada decided to add some regulations to uh, the mortgage sector, uh, and because now they have to have more capital reserves in case of a financial or housing market meltdown, uh, which you don't really foresee, but uh, they have to protect themselves. So now they have to increase those premiums. So for a five percent down uh, before your premium was three point six percent, it's going to jump up to four percent, um, which sounds so, low, which doesn't sound like a lot. But well, think about it this way: dollars, if you're putting five yeah. percent down and you're paying four percent insurance premium, you don't have any equity when you move in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, the good news is the fact the markets are brisk. Um, the 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 values are going up, and because rates are low, by year five you usually have more than twenty percent equity inside uh, your your mortgage for sure. But it does it does add to the mortgage, and, and like it. Well, the funny thing is, I have a chart here. It says you know one hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage is going to cost you an extra you know seven dollars and six cents a month. The mm-hmm. thing is, nobody I know has got one hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, you find me the so, place that's going for yeah. So if you think about it, uh, if if you look at the uh, at the average uh, p- p- house price in Canada is almost six hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'd be paying about an extra thirty dollars a month for CMHC premiums, which if you're putting five percent down is, is is what you're looking at. But um, I, I I I don't agree with it. I think that if you look at what the actual 90 delinquency rate in Canada on average is 0.001%. Negligible, <laughs> you, could, you could almost say. Yeah, you can say, well, it's actually 0.6, sorry, it was 0.06%. So out of 10,000 homes, six homes are having problems making mortgage payments. It's only a 90-day delinquency. You're not talking about foreclosures here. You're talking about delinquencies. So you're saying that their their level of concern is a little inflated. It's... Yeah, if we had a if we had a huge jump all of a sudden in delinquencies, to say it went then from, he would say we need to do this. Then we need to yeah. do this. But there there is not. And the thing is about Canadians in general. I've been doing this for seventeen years, and Canadians in general will fight tooth and nail to keep their home. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what they do; uh, they will always keep their home or try to keep their home. And if they can't afford it for to, they will sell it on their own. So you know, when it comes down to foreclosures in Canada, if you look at it, power sales. It There's, doesn't happen like the U.S.? N- no, it doesn't style. happen like the U.S. And, and, and because it's got to be sold at market values, it doesn't really hurt anybody. Um, so at the end of the day here, I think that if we had a problem with foreclosures, then CMHC can say, hey, listen, you know what? We need to do this because we need to protect the Canadian economy mm-hmm. from a downfall, But which we, we, it's not even in the playing cards right now. So I, I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. And actually, we have... Um, a video that we'll be posting on our website uh, about the uh, ministers basically talking in the legislation about the CMHC rate hike and why they're doing it. The truth is there is no reason why. They just, I just, I still don't understand myself. Oh, it just means more money out of everybody's pocket. I think it's just another tax grab. Yeah. I, I, and we, I, we don't want to talk about the liberal government because I'm not a big supporter, <laughs> but uh, we don't talk That's about That's a completely politics. different show, yeah. Uh, but I think it's just a, an extra tax grab, which is, is not fair. Housing is already... We pay more in taxes in this country than we do for food and shelter combined. Yeah. So I think that to make housing more like simpler to get and not have to regulate all this, it's it's it is a capital market, and markets will go up and down. I agree with that. Are we in a bubble? I would say we were if there's a huge number of of inventory out there that people can choose from. There just isn't. There's a big demand for housing and very little housing. So until the government allows them to build faster, easier, and better, we're going to have this issue. If you have any questions out there, 416-870-6400, star 640 on sale. That's our number here. You can shoot me an email, ryan at 640toronto.com, like John did earlier. We got his read out. And you can always call Roy Cocciolo at 416 640 
888-900-0930 or yourmortgageyourway.ca. We're back in a moment. It's Talk Radio, AM 640. 